To put it mildly, thank you very much, Mike Emanuel, on that. To another Mike, you know this fellow very well, uh, Mike Rowe, Mike Rowe Works Foundation founder. You know, Mike puts his money where his mouth is and, and looks at trade schools and opportunities that are just common sense abroad, but not in this in this country, Mike. We've talked about it before, right? Electricians and plumbers and welders, all that. Uh, those are highly valued, coveted, and well-recognized fields in countries like Germany and Italy and much of Europe, uh, the Asia. Not so much here. You're leading an effort to change that. How's it going? Well, thanks to you, pretty good. Uh, I personally want to thank you, Neil, for covering this story. It's It poses a lot of inconvenient truths for people in our education system and uh, many of our elected officials, but the evidence is now undeniable. It demands a verdict. That article in the Wall Street Journal that Emmanuel was just talking about, it's a big deal. I've been beating this drum for 16 years now and a little premature for a victory lap, maybe, but the data's in and Gen Z is just not having any of it. The cost of college, I mean, you're a finance guy, so let me just uh, oversell it for a minute. Nothing in the history of Western civilization has ever become more expensive more quickly than a four-year degree. Not food, hmm. not health, not energy, not real estate, nothing. It is unexampled. And yet, even as the skills gap has widened, even as 10 million positions have just yawned open in this, in this chasm, positions that don't require a four-year degree, but rather training, we have still been telling a whole generation of kids that the best path for the most people is the most expensive path. Uh, they're just not buying it anymore. You know, I wonder why that is what got it to change. Obviously, the, the, the sticker shock of college, that, that'll do it for a lot of people. And then a lot of people come to discover, boy, I have a devil of a time booking an electrician or a plumber, and there must be a reason for that. Uh, what's doing well, it? Well, it's math. Every year for the past 15 years, for every five tradesmen who retire, two replace them. Now, <laughs> Right. You don't have to be a genius to just right. add that up and realize the exponential weight of that just gets heavier and heavier. I challenge anyone watching this right now to find a construction project going on in their neighborhood. Go talk to the general contractor. He's over budget and he's under time. He's, he's not going to come in on time. And, and the reason is always the same. It's a paucity of skilled labor. So Gen Z gets it, and your first question was right on point. They get it in South Korea. They get it in Switzerland. They get it in Germany. They put all the options on the table right in front of a 14-, 15-year-old kid. They don't take shop class out of high school. They put it there, and they walk them yeah, through it. Yeah. And they say, look, this is a path. It looks a lot like work. But over here, the stigmas and the stereotypes and the myths and the misperceptions that keep kids from even exploring these, these trades— and the number of guidance counselors, Neil, who are affirmatively bonused on their ability to get kids onto the college track and not the vocational track, people say, Mike, how could college get so expensive? The answer is, how could it not? We freed up a bottomless pile of free money and turned the screws on a whole generation of kids and told them they'd be finished if they didn't take this path. So... That's starting to get very, very wobbly. And I think this year you're going to see a PR problem in higher ed, unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Well, you've been on it long before a lot of people. What I love about you, Mike, I'm not blowing you smoke. You, you don't forget your roots. You don't forget where you come from. And you don't forget just average working folk and knowing that they're, they're not only the lifeblood of our country, but a very profitable yeah. lifeblood for their kids and their offspring. So... Uh, thank you for doing that, Mike. Good seeing you again. You too. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.